Well, by the time I finally got on these lawns this morning, it was about 10 o'clock. We got heavy, heavy rains last night, and when I woke up this morning, there were just big puddles everywhere across my driveway, in the yard, on the roads. Uh, it was just everywhere, so I had to take uh, my son to school this morning, and then I had to go to the dealer and swap out a set of blades. I showed you those G6 Gator blades I got for the right, and uh, I went and swapped them out this morning. No big deal and I mowed with those today. There will be no right footage in this video, but uh, I will get some tomorrow, and I really like them. Sometimes uh, G6 Gator Blades really work out on mowers, and other times they're garbage. They're just a waste of money, and uh, I, I run the same brand on so many different mowers, and it just comes down to the mower. Some mowers like them, and some mowers don't. It's just really weird the way they react, but um, they worked really good on the right today. I was very impressed. So um, you guys will see some footage with that tomorrow. But the only thing you're going to see in this one is going to be this mower here. You will see uh, I show an overview of this backyard once I'm done mowing here. So you can see what it looks like when I was done. And then you're going to hear me talk for a few minutes in my truck. And then I show the front yard yeah here's the overview of the back but stay tuned for right after I talk you'll see me mowing the front yard and then an overview of that I've never seen that yard before that's just the back you'll see the front in a minute but I uh I told you guys last year I was going to film that one this year, and I finally had a chance to. So, anyway, it poured rain all last night. Like, we got heavy rains, and everything was soaked, sopping wet. So, I got a late start about 10 o'clock this morning. I'm hearing a lot of guys asking me, and then um, I see them, you know, commenting on my videos and stuff, and then uh, they're just mentioning in their videos some other guys about you know they can't touch these lawns they're so wet this and that and there are a bunch of lawns that are super wet that you can't touch i have some that i just can't get on yet this year but a lot of them you can do it's just you're gonna have to do things you don't want to do like for instance you guys know the size of my yard front and back i've showed it in a bunch of videos i think i made one the other day with the front i have a few yards that i've had to push mow that were that size or bigger and trust me, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want nothing to do with push mowing a yard that big. I just didn't feel like dealing with it. And, you know, it's a big pain in the butt, especially when you're already behind. But, you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. These customers paid you to do it, to do the job. And, you know, some of them, thankfully, I have a lot of them that are understanding of the weather. And they know that, you know, the yards are just too soft. And some don't want you on it. But other ones, they don't care. They paid you to do it, and they want it done, and that's all there is to it. And if you don't do it, they're going to find somebody else that will. So um, I think I mentioned in a video the other day, I had a section like 30 by 50 or something like that. I had to weed whack just to level it all out because it was the only part on a huge yard that I couldn't mow. So I wasn't just going to skip the whole rest of the yard. If you keep letting them go, every once in a while we get springs like this where it's just nonstop. And if you let them go and let them go, they're just going to get taller and taller, and they're going to be a nightmare when you finally get to do them. And even worse, when they get really tall and really thick like that, the wind and the sun can't get to the lawn to dry them out. So then it's even longer before they're going to dry out. And if you're just waiting on these lawns to dry out, you're going to be waiting a long time. So there's just stuff you got to do. And sometimes you just got to bite the bullet and do things you don't want to do to get these lawns done. And, you know, that's what I've been doing the last few days. That's what a lot of guys are doing. But for those of you that, are, you know, keep saying oh they're just too soft they're too soft they're too soft you know sometimes that's the case but in a lot of instances it's just an excuse Just real quick on this part, you'll see that obviously I'm going left to right here, but you can see the stripes going at the opposite angle 
that was from the first cut this is the second time this year I've mowed this that was from the first cut um, I've been asked in some of my videos do you ever mow at an angle and yes I do I mow at all different directions what I usually do is every two to three weeks I switch up my pattern to avoid leaving ruts in a yard and to just change up the look of it from you know week to week when I mow or every few weeks so it doesn't constantly look the same but I've picked up yards in the past where other companies have mowed before me and you can clearly tell they mowed it in the same direction every single week for however many years because when you try to go in a different direction it is insanely bumpy.